as yes, we were leaving out of town when I looking on the, the hill, I seen my building just engulfed in flames. And the only thing that came to me, my thought that came to me is, I'm gonna go home and I'm never gonna see this place ever again. It's gonna be different. It took us two days from Kaolui to even get back in. The lack of communication across the board has been lacking, but if we had comms up right away, that would have solved so many issues right then and there. I would have been able to be in contact nonstop, giving the boots on the ground, play by play account of what's going down. But I'm, I can't, as a state official, I feel like I'm, I should be in the know. I mean, I don't know what is the overarching state government doing, the governor and all that. What is going on with the mayor's office on the county level? I should be part of those plans. I should be part of that discussion. I have not been. Up until yesterday afternoon, it was it was super frustrating. I was ready to, um, you know, just rant on a live that we're not getting communication. People were telling me to call them for what I need. I'm like, do you know that we don't have any internet? So I think, you know, every day is getting a little bit better, a little bit better. And we're starting to try to get organized, try to get the hubs like VHF or something so we can communicate with each other. So if somebody comes over here and they need insulin and we don't have it, then we say go in Apili Park, they got insulin or children's island, I'll go over here, you know. Thank you so much. Sure, of course. Every response, I think it's a little bit slow in the beginning, but it's normally for a few days because, again, they need to gain some kind of control over things. Otherwise, you get all the bad actors that flood in. And so, like I say, I'm sympathetic to that part of it. This has been a little slower. I mean, it's been over a week and they're just really starting to let people get in here and, and do things. And um, these local people have come together and they have been doing a fantastic job. I, I mean, they're just incredible people. A lot of people coming from all over. They're coming from ocean. They're coming from the air. They're coming from the roadways. And they're coming to this place to help feed because our resources are not. But I've learned an important lesson. I, cannot, I can never leave this town because there's no one yeah, that's capable of taking care of this town. The way, the passion that we feel, the people of this I know is a part of this place.